Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I know I am bare face and no makeup on because we're gonna do a mask, mask, oh, dude. And I wanted to film this quick video all about masks. I know I've never had like a mask a video in my channel. So I did wanna talk about uh, because I have a couple of masks here that I do do love and I swore by. So if you guys want to learn anything or would like to see any new masks, please keep on watching. Okay, so the first mask that I'm going to mention is the Formula 10.0.6 Deep Down Detox Ultra Cleansing Mud Mask. God, it's a long name. But it looks like this is just a really, really nice mask. This mask, this helps super clean detox and it helps clean impurities and it also brightens complexion. So this mask is really, really good if you have a lot of impurities in your face or you feel like you have discoloration or even if you're like acne prone, this is going to really clean out your pores. So this is what it looks like. It's, it's a nice like clay type of mask and it's white as you can see here. But this mask I do recommend. I love it. I do feel like it really takes out a lot of junk from my face. You just feel super, super clean after you use the mask. And what I do <coughs> is I leave this one on for 15, maybe to 20 minutes depending on how much you can sustain it. Because it does give you like a little bit of tingle if you're not used to the mask at all. Your pores are really going to feel it. So this is a really good mask. I do recommend it if you have any impurities or you have a discoloration or you just want to brighten your face. This is really good. So I will leave it down below and I will leave down the prices and everything down in the bottom bar. The second mask that I do want to talk about is my Glam Glow Super Mud Dual Cleans Treatment Mask which looks like this. It's the one in the green bottle and this mask is amazing oh, it smells good as you can see inside I'm almost out and it looks like a nice uh, like a brownish grayish color but inside the mask itself it has like little beads kind of like exfoliating beads so this mask is good for normal skin oily skin combination and dry skin this mask is to remove the weekly buildup of dirt, oil, and makeup. So this is also going to help you with your dullness and uneven texture, oiliness, and dryness. I'm reading it off straight from the website just because it gives more of a better explanation than probably what I would give. So this mask does exactly what it says. If you wear a lot of makeup, like say every day or probably four times out of the week, or whatever but if you wear a lot of makeup this mask is really good for you because it's really really gonna clean out everything from your face it's gonna take it all out and this is really good for it at the same time it's gonna exfoliate but it's not gonna be rough so this mask is really good is also pricey so I will leave it as well down below in the description box and and I believe they also have another size yeah they, this is a 1.7 ounce and then they also have a 0.5 ounce. So if you don't want to splurge on a big jug like this, you can go and buy the smaller version. So it's amazing. You're going to be glowing all the time. So definitely recommend this. Another mask that I want to talk about is also from Glam Glow. And this is the Youth Mud. It's a D D Tin Glex Foliant Treatment. I don't know if I said that right. But it is the black, the black jar, which looks like this. Um, this one's more of a thicker kind of mask as you can see in the bottle it has like little black things in the mask itself and this one is also really really good this one is also for normal oily combination and dry skin um, this is meant for both men and women so you and your partner can sit down and get your mask on <laughs> Um, this actually helps for your fine lines and wrinkles and the dullness of your face and the uneven tone. So this is also a really, really good mask. I usually use this when my face is acting up, when I have like, like so much acne here or it's uneven here or I feel texture, anything like that. I usually use this around my times of month 
um, so this one really really does help and it's also more of an exfoliant type of mask this one is like an exfoliant but it's more gentle because this one feels more like a oil based type of mask and this one doesn't this one's more thick and it's more like clay so this one's really good it's also going to help with your impurities but yeah so these two they also have the smaller version of this one fourth mask that i want to mention this is my ultimate ultimate favorite mask uh i just this is my ride or die i usually i've gone through maybe three of these two i've gone to two large ones and right now i have a small one so the one that i that i want to talk about is also from glam glow and this is the super mud clearing treatment mask which is this one right here and it's the white one this is the size that they come when they're the smaller and then this is the size when it's the bigger jar so you could definitely see the comparison obviously the price does match the size of the bottle so this one right here is oh, this one smells nasty this is like a dark gray clay right here this one is definitely more thick it's not that oily it doesn't have any little tiny beads inside of it or anything it's just a thick clay and this one is really good for normal oily and combination skin um, this targets prevents and helps heal problem skin this is for blemishes and large pores and oiliness and i have to say this is definitely exactly what it says i use this for example i'm gonna place it right here on my big zit what i do is i use it like a spot treatment i grab a little synthetic brush which looks like so i'm gonna put some on right now I got this brush in a ooh, it looks like this. I got this brush, it's a dual end. This one has like a little plastic end. So I got this brush brush actually in a little combination pack where it had two masks, two large ones, and then a smaller one. That's why I have this in a smaller version. But I always get the bigger one. I just I'm just using this one up. But what I do is I open it and then you could use either side and then you grab a little bit on your brush like this and then you see how i have that big zit right there i just cover the entire thing all the area that is part of the zip i put a nice amount you could layer it but make sure you cover the entire area so that's exactly what I do I usually use it when I have big zits or like unicorns coming out of my face because it really does help them minimize them and then it just tones them down so I use this as a spot treatment and then I sometimes use it where I have my pores right here but that's rarely the occasion this really does help with your acne if you have acne you will love this so those are my four so far i have one more to share with you guys and then that's it so so the last mask i want to talk about is my sc lauder white mud exfoliant scrub mask which looks like this this is a white mask this mask right here is fairly new to my collection um this one's more of a white mask let me see if i can show you hold on i don't know if you could see it on there but it's more of a white mask and then this one also has little beads but i feel like the beads from this one is a little bit smaller than the ones that are in the glam glow mask and this one's more of a gentle scrub i would say that the glam glow are more of a not rougher scrub but it's more 
Mm, I'm not going to say effective because this one is also effective, but it, the exfoliation is just a little bit different. But this one has more of a gentle scrub, so if your face is really delicate or it gets um, really scars easily or whatever the case may be, if your face is sensitive, I would recommend one of these because it's extremely gentle and this is also an exfoliator mask. I'm sure this is good for also obviously your face and your impurities but you do not feel any tingly sensation with this mask at all like I said it's more of a gentle mask but I do love it for like an everyday or every other night type of mask so yeah that's all of my masks that I wanted to talk about um, like I mentioned this brush right here I usually applied the, these two glam glow masks with the larger end of the brush which is a synthetic brush just because it's much more clean and it's you're not gonna be putting like I have I always have acrylics on and if I'm putting my entire finger in there you could just be putting bacteria back into the mask so I do recommend to use a brush a synthetic brush to apply your mask on it's just gonna make it much more clean much more sanitary and much better and you also want to make sure that when you apply any mask you do apply a significant amount of it to your entire face depending on how you're putting it or where you're gonna put it if you're just gonna spot treat you do want to put a good amount just so it can really really work into your face and then depending on the mask um it depends how much you want to leave on because my Estee Lauder I only leave this on for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes because it starts off creamy and then it gets hard so then I feel like if I leave it on for too too long I could get like wrinkles I'm gonna cause wrinkles if I laugh or I just made the weirdest face right now like if I laugh like this it's gonna get like I feel like I'm gonna get a wrinkle or something so I only leave this for about 10 to 15 minutes or as long as I see that it's dry if it's dry it's ready to get off so but like this mask right here I do leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes as well as this one and then the white one I leave it overnight on my zits as you can see here it's already drying and that's exactly what it's supposed to do you get that same effect with this one right here but obviously it dries, dries white so yeah so that's all I want to talk about about these masks these masks these masks I can't say it these masks are amazing these have to be my favorite mask of all time I know there's other masks out there that I haven't tried but I am very um, picky when it comes to the things that I put into my face so if I feel like it's not gonna work um, I don't buy it so usually I like to try them out and if I don't feel like they're doing any justice to my face I will return it because they are pricey um, but I haven't had any complaints about any of these masks. I've never returned any of these and they work well And also you could just go to Sephora and ask for a sample Just so you can test it out on your skin so you don't go and splurge on something Expensive and then it's irritating to your skin or there's something in here that you're allergic to or anything of that matter So I do recommend it also during the holidays um, through, or throughout the year in general they have kits um, from Glam Glow where they put like two regular size and a smaller one with a brush or they have like sample like a sample kit or anything like that that would be a good thing to grab that way you can test them all out there is another one well there's three I think three more an orange one they have a purple one and they have a blue one that I have yet to try. So, but this so these are the ones that I have so far, and I do recommend them, and I do love them. But yeah, that's all I want to say, you guys. I'm gonna go to bed now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.